Okay. In this installment, we will be using YED to talk about bipartite graphs. Bipartite graphs have some different assumptions than some of the other graphs that we've been looking at. So what we'll do is we'll just quickly build one and talk about um, what types of things bipartite graphs are good for modeling and go through the process of uh, taking a just a generic bipartite graph and assigning some meaning to it so that it becomes you know, what we would call a two-mode network. All right, so let's assume that circles represent people. Okay, and I'll just make some changes to the properties here to make it easier to read. Okay, I'll copy a few of these. And let's assume that we want to track another type of entity as well. Okay, so in this example, we'll eventually refer to these as clubs, right? So we'll be tracking students in clubs. But in terms of a bipartite graph, it can just be two different things that you're tracking that you want to show the relationships between. Okay, so we'll copy this, copy this. Okay. And what the graph would look like if we want to model this, this is probably make it sort of nice and organized here, you'll see that we have two different types of nodes, okay, and that's not something that we've seen before in our graphs. We have seen different shapes of graphs, but in that case we were tra tracking different properties, right? So when we were modeling homophily, we would have all of the nodes would represent people, but they would represent people with different characteristics, so men and women, or some other characteristic that we want to track. In this case, the different shapes represent different types of things. So um, eventually we'll give these circles uh, names of people, and we'll give the squares the names of clubs. Okay, so let me just connect to these things to make something interesting out of them. And most of the bipartite graphs that we'll see will look you know, similar to this. They'll be more complicated than this, but they'll have roughly the same properties. And just to make it interesting, we'll make this link as well. Okay, um, this is a pretty standard bipartite graph. Um, we've got two disjoint sets of nodes, okay? So the groups don't link to each other and the people don't link to each other. Um, they actually, people link to nodes and what we're doing is showing the relationship between these two different types of things, okay? In a network, now, you know, bipartite graphs can be studied for their own purposes, and um, if this were a math class, we would probably talk a little bit more about properties and things you can do mathematically, but because we're focused on networks, we want to really talk about how bipartite graphs can help us model certain types of things. In this case, uh, we'll be discussing bipartite graphs as a way to model affiliations. Okay, so um, for this example, it will be people and their affiliations with groups. Okay, so let's say that we have two groups at a college. One is, a, say, a karate club, and the other is, say, a chess club. Okay, and I'll just adjust these so that they fit in the labels nicely. Okay, and then let's assume that all of these circles are in fact people. Okay, so we can give them all names. 
something like Alice. Bob. Carl. Dave. And Eve. Okay, and so what we're actually looking, what we've just modeled, are the people who participate in certain clubs. So Alice, Bob, Carl, and Dave are in the karate club, and Carl, Dave, and Eve are in the chess club. This is very helpful for us because it allows us to identify which groups of people are put together and why. Okay, so which groups are clustered together. And um, we can actually take this graph and convert it into two one-mode networks. And we'll actually see how to do that in Pajek. But um, if you envision that any two people who participate in a club are connected to each other, we can actually draw that graph. And you'll see a little bit of how that actually works in Pajek in a second. Uh, just to set up for the next video, we'll actually take this specific graph in the next video and convert it into a Pajek.net format. The uh, bipartite graphs in Pajek and the .NET format are slightly different, so I just want to show you how you can do that. And we'll talk about some visual things you can do in that format as well.